Hey guys, nothing important here, and today we're here to do another episode of Q&A, Q&A episode 5. Uh, sorry for the noise, that is my furnace in the background, it is quite cold where I'm at, so uh, feel free to ignore that. Otherwise, let's, uh, let's go hit the list. So, let's, uh, let's go start this video from uh, like two weeks ago. So... Straight up, I don't know where tensor is scales. I don't I don't know where where it scale whatsoever. And also, if you ask the question of where I would scale it, but then put the cosmology, then you kind of already answered your own question. Uh, that's that's all I really had to say to Christian White. Just uh, you know, if you have a question, ask the question. Just don't tell me all the answers. Uh, right after you ask the question, it's a little weird to do that. Is a collab with Destiny canon to the Pairiverse? Uh, let's see. We know Marathon is canon. We know parts of Halo are canon. And we know, uh, Myth is canon. I don't know if collabs are. <coughs> Honestly, if I was you... I would consider it just either a far off part of the Paraverse, or I would consider it as something just completely non canon to Destiny entirely. So, uh, that's all I really had to say about that. That's all Wally had to say. Uh, it's what Sakura. So, let's go on this chat. What video of mine am I most proud of? Good question. Go back up here. You see this video here, Master Reaper? Got about like 8K views or whatever. I, I, I made this small thing as a one-off buckshot and it just went in its own direction since. <coughs> oh God whatever um but yeah that's uh that's that's the video i'm most proud of currently <laughs> yeah some of this yeah youtube's got some weird stuff going on with it uh let's go here let's see am i aware of kaijiri kamui kagura nope i don't know what that is at all why is the wyvern the first soldier we see of the vex it's because the vex are not used to fighting and uh, eventually over time the wyvern became their answer to the problem ignoring the fact that they had to go from being this survival safety protocol thing way back in the uh, uh flower game days in the unveiling so, uh, that, that, I mean, that's it. It's just the Vex are trying to catch up to the times and find something that works in the physical universe as a soldier. That's all I had to say for Slow Assassin. Oh, let's move this. Question from Lumos Theramax, a DC YouTuber. Good friend of mine also. Who is the best well-written character in Destiny? Good question. That's a toss-up between... Oryx and Sabathun, mostly, between the two. The reason for those two is because Sabathun had more uh, foreshadowed development than Oryx did. And Oryx just had the best writing of all the villains at this point, so far in the story. So that's who I'd answer with, Sabathun or Oryx. There's also Rasputin. Rasputin, I think, is way up there with them, too. Uh, he, actually, Rasputin's a top five for me, lore wise. <coughs> Question from Homie Sage: What is the lesser known Destiny character that is pretty overpowered? Uh Panoptes and Atheon. Those two are pretty OP. Uh, the High Celebrant's really strong, but scales below Oryx. Uh, let's see. 
Callus from Lightfall actually outscales Rolf, but that's not lesser known. <coughs> so that's all I really had for Homie Sage. From Wally, who has the most potential in Destiny? Probably the MC for Zigu Wrath currently. I'm not sure. Um, you could even say Rasputin has potential. So, there's that too. Question from Moonlight. What do you think of Zebra Rao's potential will be since she will likely be the strongest opponent we faced ignoring the witness? Uh, we're not there in the story yet, but I will let you guys know immediately when she surpasses Rasputin. I will at least do that. Question from Galeem. Is Sabathun a good parent? Uh, yes. Among her coven, she would be considered a good coven mother. Technically. Because she pus uh, pushes her wizards to uh, develop themselves as hive and become more advanced in their design. For Galeem's other question... Is the New Light Guardian supposed to be the same Guardian that defeats Oryx and their two protagonist Guardians? <coughs> Good question. So, let's go cover this whole debacle first. The Red War Guardian and the New Light Guardian, they're separate characters within their own universe, respectively. The Red War Guardian is the main character. Uh, that that we're aware of. The New Light Guardian becomes a member of the fire team because they become as strong as the main character does from the Red War. Uh, because the Red War Guardian existed a long time before the New Light Guardian did. So it's not so much as just two protagonist guardians. Is that the New Light Guardian is now a member of the fire team. Uh, you know, part of the raid fire team. So, are they MC level? Yes. If we want to use a different argument, then we can say, in a different timeline, the New Light Guardian becomes the main guardian. Uh, within that timeline, after the events of Beyond Light and Shadowkeep and whatnot. That's the best way to put it. I should probably make a video on them, if I'm going to be honest. <coughs> With the New Light Guardian, we use meditation and learn all the subclasses really quick. Uh, the Red War Guardian also learned all the subclasses really quick. We had to get a shard of the Traveler, then uh, uh, meditated with it. So they, had no, so they learned even faster than the New Light Guardian, actually. Can Guardians grow in power very fast compared to previous generations? Yes. Because they're strong enough and potent enough now. Uh, the MC would outscale Shahan and Hax as well. So the MC is a good example to use of Shahan. <coughs> is it a retcon? No, it's not a retcon. For Suppa Green Bay, for question one, I explained this to him in DMs. Like, I gave him the whole answer, but basically, the Damiurge downscales from the Gardener and the Winnower, and the Damiurge lets everything inverse, paracausal or not, fight each other. So if someone says Guardians have no durability because of the whole crow thing, then they're, then they're snorting a hunk of crap. I'm sorry. They don't know how to scale Destiny if they don't know how to scale Guardians. Which, to be honest, the Damiurge is part of that design, so. Uh, it's, it's, it's basically what it is. The Damiurge is a principle slash system of its own that downscales from the Gardener and the Winnower. Marsov versus Featherine. Let's see. The current conclusion is still that Sabathun wins, and I believe she downscales from Mara currently. Marasov is able to empower the MC with Awoken Energy. 
and can make them significantly more powerful, and she should scale around Keitel, and Keitel downscales from Kalos. So that lets Marasov just completely upscale past Sabathun, which should let her just grab Featherine's neck and crack it on the spot. Sabathun versus the Joker from SMT. I've heard Complex Multiversal. I've heard some Infinite Dimensional arguments. I don't know what, what, which, which one's true. But if the Joker's out of Versal, then he's going to have to somehow get past uh, Throne Hive. And then somehow get all the way to the Hive Gods. If we're going all the way to Outer Versal. So, I'm probably going to go with Sabathun in that fight. If only because I'm ignorant on Joker's full scaling end. That's all I really have for Supper Green Bay. And thanks for the support. I will make fire content. Who is physically the strongest Destiny character in Moonlight? That would be... It's, it, it's a tie between the Gardener and the Winnower. <coughs> uh, it's, it's the brain dead answer. If you want a question about who's the strongest in the Coalition, probably Keitel. The MC is more than likely going to use hacks against Keitel and beat him in a fight. So Keitel's physically impressive compared to even the Guardians. So Keitel's a pretty good answer. So is Kallus. So, I mean, that's it. It doesn't really look like there's as much this time around. So, again, if you guys have any questions, please link them below. And I will hit them in two weeks from now on episode 6 of Q&A. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, my name is NIH, and, uh, you know, drop the questions. Because I'll see you later. And bye.